Well, the state's best softball teams are in hasting today through Friday, playing in the 2023 NSA State Softball Championships. All teams with one goal to play for a state title Monday in Omaha. In Class A, it was a city battle between Lincoln East taking on Lincoln Southwest. Top the sixth, East leading 3 0. Silverhawk freshman Hadley Madsen launches a shot to center and over the wall for a two run home run. Southwest closing in on East down 3 2. To the seventh inning we go with Southwest looking to tie or take the lead. Emma Dostal hits it deep to left and it hits off the wall. That scores two runs, give the Hawks the lead four to three. Spartans wheels keep coming as this time it's Mary Beth Hart hitting a hard grounder to the shortstop who can't come up with it and another two run score. Silverhawks add two more for good measure and come all the way back scoring seven unanswered runs in just two innings. Southwest advances to face Gretna in the second round. In the early game today, Pius fell to that Gretna team at 10 to 2, and now Gretna and Southwest underway with the Silverhawks leading the one seed 6-2. We'll have highlights from that one tonight at 10 o'clock. In Class B, Waverly looking to win their first ever state tournament game against Elkhorn North. Bottom of the third, Waverly up one. Elk North trying to change that. Hallie Pribno smacks a shot over the right fielder for a two-run double to give the Wolves a 2-1 lead. In the fourth, Wolves' Reese Pearson gets the ball past a diving shortstop, scoring a run. 3-1 Elkhorn North now. Hit after hit, the Wolves keep the runs coming. By the time the fourth inning was over, they recorded four to make it 6-1. Waverly looking to get some back in the fifth, and they get one off a Tatum Peary double to right field. Elkhorn North, though, would answer and score three more runs to defeat the Vikings 9-3. Waverly moves to the loser's bracket, takes on the other Vikings from Northwest tomorrow. Next up, the four-seed Hastings hosting a five-seeded Beatrice. The upsets would continue in Class B as the Lady Orange jump out to a 6-0 lead on this Cali Shishwau ground out. The Tigers' bats came alive. Bottom of the seventh, bases loaded. Two outs for junior Mackenzie Nalte, who mashes a bases clearing game winning single as Hastings comes from behind to win 8 to 7. In Class C, two seed Central City put on a seventh seed at Freeman today. Check out the arm by catcher Callie Bosch as she nails the runner at third for the second out of the inning. Jersey Schindler then says, hey, let's end this thing as she's throwing smoke by the batter to end the inning. Now it's all about the offense. As Bosch not only does it behind the plate, she does it at the dish, singling here to keep that momentum going. Next up, it'll be Peyton Burbach who lines one through the right side of the field to plate yet another Central City Bison run. As the route is on, Carly Seats dives in, drives in another run to make it 14-3. The Bison would end this one in three innings with a 15-3 win. A lot of good games today. You'll have so much more coming up at 10 o'clock, you guys. Boy, the weather, you couldn't have asked mm -hmm. for better when it comes to uh, A little bit of rain this morning, but it was oh, good Oh, there overall. was? Okay. Yeah. Okay.